Greetings friends. Watch Refrigeration News for Wednesday, May 25, 2022 on our channel. Embraco launches three-phase compressors portfolio for the Japanese market. Dekin Europe starts BRV production in Turkish factory. Area welcomes new president. Panasonic opens new UK head office with impressive training center. Refrigerant briefing for spring 2022. So, first news today. Embraco launches three-phase compressors portfolio for the Japanese market. Embraco is launching this month a compressors portfolio for the Japanese market, both in monophase and three-phase options. The models are from the Noi compressors lineup, coming to Japan in 100 volts, single phase, and 200 volts, three-phase, models, with a diverse range of applications in food retail, food service and medical segments. We know that, in Japan, given that the electrical grid has a voltage of 100 volts, any refrigeration equipment that demand a cooling capacity from one-fifth of a horsepower up, which is very common in a restaurant kitchen for example, will require a three-phase compressor, says Guillermo Figueredo de Silva, sales manager for the Japanese market at Nidec Global Appliance. Read more the news on our website today. Second news today. Daikin Europe starts BRV production in Turkish factory. Daikin Europe NV announced that it has invested 13 million euro to start the production of VRV systems at its Turkish factory. Production of the VRVs, which are mainly aimed at the Turkish and Middle Eastern markets, started in May 2022. The decision is based on Daikin's strategy to manufacture close to the market, which shortens supply lead times and enables the company to respond to demand in a flexible manner. Read more the news on our website today. Third news today. Area welcomes new president. During the annual General Assembly in 13 May, area members unanimously elected Cohen van de Sande, director of the Dutch Association, NVKL, as president of area, replacing Marco Buoni, secretary general of the Italian Association, ATF. Marco will continue to be active in the board with a mandate for international affairs. Jegors Michalski, president of the Polish Association, KFCH, was elected as vice president. The spring meeting gathered members in Athens, Greece for the first in-person meeting in two years. Read more the news on our website today. Fourth news today. Panasonic opens new UK head office with impressive training center. Panasonic is delighted to announce the grand opening of its brand new UK premises, dedicated to the HVACR Plus market which includes its largest UK training center, kitted out with fully functioning units for hands-on experience. Panasonic's heating, cooling and refrigeration staff attended an opening ceremony on Friday, May 6, 2022, where Enrique Villamitiana, managing director of Panasonic Heating and Amp, Cooling Solutions Europe, officially declared the new premises in Welland Garden City open. Read more the news on our website today. Fifth news today. Refrigerant Briefing for Spring 2022 Are you up to date with the latest refrigerant news and insights for Spring 2022? There's been many changes in the world of refrigerants this season, including the start of the HFC refrigerant phase-down in the U.S., Clean Air Act violations and possible F-gas revisions. That's why Alpine Strategy LLC is hosting a free live webinar on Wednesday, June 1st at 9 a.m. EST to explore the most important refrigerant updates from this spring. Read more the news on our website today. That's all. Share the news with your friends. Join Refrigeration Group on Facebook and LinkedIn. Please find the links below.